However, the dam's proponents were in a vastly unnumbered minority. In addition, as the Sonozaki family strengthened its own foundation and promised support against the, dam, the dam, all of the proponents save for Mr. Hojo switched over to the anti-dam side. At this point, Hinamazawa was completely united against the dam, and Mr. Hojo was held up to the ridicule as a stooge of the dam project's proponents. Hmm. Well, like I am gonna say this, that uh, despite all this rivalry between the Hojo's and the Sonozakis, it is nice to see that, well, we are in a group where Mion and Satoko, they are good friends as well. Yeah. They cast their differences. Now, of course, there was that one moment in Chapter 2 where Mion was having a a breakdown about the, the like the whole Joes and the curse of Satoko and all that, but I did bring up the idea that that particular Mion was actually Shion. It could very well be that Shion is the one who was having a problem with the Satoko, while Mion, well, she doesn't. But I guess we shall see in the future whether it's true or not. Whether it's actually Mion who has a problem with the Satoko, which I doubt, or it is Shion. He was essentially used as a scapegoat for the anti-dam coalition. In the end, the dam project collapsed with Oyashiro Sama's curse and the dismemberment incident. However, punishment towards the bitter enemies supporting the dam project continues to this day. There are not many left today who supported the dam project, nor who had a negative reputation at the time. If there were any candidates left for the curse, is the husband of the housewife who was beaten to death last year, Tepe Hojo. And Mr. Hojo's daughter, Satoko Hojo. Strangely, these two are the only candidates left. Will this year's curse come down on the two of them? There is more than enough value in observing them both. Alright. Gotta pay extra attention indeed. Okay, let's see Oishi's post memo. To Oishi-san, there was a call for you from Section 4's Chief Shigeharu. Apparently the slaughtered corpse in Oijikawa River is related to the S group, as we thought. We're still verifying what happened behind the scenes, but apparently the deceased filed up dozens of self-created fictional bank accounts to their limits with money from the S group, reaching around 100 million yen. Okay, let's see, filed up? Well, it's filed up, not filled up. Filed up dozens of self-created fictional bank accounts to their limits with money from the S group. Reaching around 100 million yen. Hmm. It appears there were three or four men with four, former S group connections involved in this. Former S group connections. They've already disappeared along with millions of yen. The deceased was tortured on that point for information, and she was clearly slaughtered as an example to others. There are apparently some real wizards chasing down the people who disappeared. They are also spreading letters to related Yakuza groups not to harbor them. There is still no evidence that Tebe Ojo is one of those people. As far as Chi Shigaharu can tell, he hasn't been told anything. He was her pimp, but she didn't trust him at all, did she? Tepe Hojo has left the apartment in Okinomiya and has returned to his former residency in Hezawa. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Alrighty then. Mamori Taito Mo Kokoroni. Uso a Nakata. Taisetsuni Taito Mo Kokoroa. Tare Yori Motsuyoi Hatsdata. Yasasakara Umareta Kanjova. やがて殺意へと変わり真っ白だった思いは赤と黒で染まってゆくそれが守りたかった日常の崩壊を意味しているとわかっていながらたたり殺し何が間違っていたのかその答えを探して悲劇はさらに広がってゆく Oh, Joe, Sanwa, Kyomo, Yasmidesca. 
Oh my god, another day? Furuda san wa nani ka shitte imasu ka? The teacher's voice was uncritical, but Ika-chan hung her head, unable to answer, and I felt really bad for her. The teacher called Rika-chan up and they had an exchange in hushed tones at the days. At first, Rika-chan said that Satoko's fever had grown worse, but everyone in class knew it was a lie. Because every day, Rika-chan brought Satoko's bento with her. I'm the one who wants to know most of all. It was already the third day since Satoko's first absence. Ever since then, I haven't felt good. Until just last Sunday, everything had been so much fun. I reached out to Satoko like a real older brother, and we spent that time quietly, but warm and comfortable. So why had it suddenly been flipped over? The more I thought about it, the more I thought that the world had taken a turn for the worse ever since Oishi arrived. You know, you would think that Keiji of all people would check on Satoko like the first day, but... Hmm? Thinking on it now, maybe the strange apprehensions plaguing me the night before Oishi arrived had been a sign. Kuraudo Oishi, where I should have someone served. So... そんなことあるもんか。あいつが現れたから、サトコが今年のたたりに会う役だなんて決められてたまるかよ。Just what sort of slip of had I committed to cause those fun times to end so so? Yes, it was the day before Oishi appeared. Shion, Mion, and Rena had spoken of the curse running of Satoshi and his disappearance. And it was so sinister it gave me a bad premonition. Such a small thing was the slip-up that invited Oeshiro Sama's servant. It was absurd. I kept on groaning to myself that I would never accept it ever. I obviously wasn't the only one suppressing my feelings. Mion and Rena were too. Everyone in the class was doing it. And Ikachan knew something about Sartoko's situation. But she wouldn't tell us. Karikachan still held a calm attitude, like a cat basking in the sun. But she was being unbelievably stubborn about this whole thing. She didn't want to tell us, and that wouldn't change no matter how many times we asked her. Everyone understood that, so nobody questioned her. There was no persuasive power and reassurance given with an anxious face like that. <sighs> Mian was being tested her, and just looked up at the sky with a somehow annoyed expression. I couldn't tell if she was unhappy that Rikachan wouldn't talk about it with her own friends. Or if she was concerned over Satoko's well-being. What about me? My anxiety was suffocating day after day. If someone else was looking at me, then maybe I'd look annoyed, like Mion did. Tap tap. Someone tapped my shoulder. It was Tomita kun and Okumura kun. What's up, fellas? Maibara san, chotto ii desu ka? Mata ball ga hikkakatta ka? I didn't feel like going along with them, so I was a little unsympathetic with my response. Hmm? A rumor? A rumor about Sotoko. He ain't said that, but it didn't seem unrelated. They didn't want to talk in the classroom, so they put me behind the school building, lending further credence to that thought. The back of the school was damp and humid like always. Students didn't really come here because they wanted to. It might, however, have been the ideal location for trading rumors away from prying eyes. Tomita-kun, Okamura-kun, 
、その噂話って、もちろん、佐都子の欠席と関係のある話なんだろうな。関係があるかはわからないですけど、あるいは。うん佐都子は一体、どうしたってんだ風邪なのかそれとも、ひょっとして、もっと重い病気か、怪我か何かで。いえ、それが、むしろ逆で、うちのばあちゃんの話だと、昨日の昼に、うちの店に豆腐を買いに来たらしいんです。Okay. お、富田 family runs a 豆腐 shop。えれどこもろくん。豆腐屋さんに、買い物 ?My voice sounds so stupefied, even I can tell. It was understandable. I was worried about what grave illness or injury she had, and the person herself had been out and about shopping for tofu. De, Satoko, how did you do that? Did you get sick? 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 Okay, well, can you tell us how she. how she was, spirit wise? I should have felt relieved that it wasn't an illness or an injury. But my anxiety wasn't going away. Because Tomita Kuna and Kumara Kun's expressions weren't looking any better. Kinugoshi Dofu Icho Kate Itta so na desma. Bochan ga yuni wa okashi to. Okashi? Naze? Kinugoshi Dofu Kate nani ga wari? Irritated by how roundabout they were being, I had to desperately fight that irritation from creeping into my voice. Hojo to Furde, te, hora, Futari Gras de, so many o cane mochi te wake janai des yone. Takora, Futari wa it's mo yasui momento fushka kawanai des. Ichiban takai kinugoshi dofu nanka, katako to nine des. Momento te kinugoshi da te, doch mo tofu da ro? Tamani wa umai tofu ga kuitak nata dake kamo shi de nai janai ka. I mean, could be that one,、um, one time where they decided to, to feast themselves on something a little bit more expensive once in a while. I mean, to make themselves feel better. That's one option. But, hmm. So, that's what I'm saying. I knew how transparent I sounded right then. This wasn't anything trivial. It was some kind of important clue. Not the cheap, firm tofu, but expensive, soft kind. Shopping not in the evening after school, but in the middle of the day. I couldn't figure out what those things meant. As I thought hard about it, Okumura kun took his turn to speak. テペイホージョのおじさんがいえサトコザンコ。Right, I think Coach told me about him. Their aunt and uncle had taken them in after Satoko and Satoshi lost their parents in the accident. 去年のおやしろさまのたたりで怖くなって町に逃げたっていうホージョのおじさんです。こいつヤクザみたいな怖くて乱暴なやつで Everything coach told me came back in bits and pieces Right The mean aunt and uncle who had tormented them all the time I think he said that after their aunt was beaten to death by the deviant he ran away to his lover's house in Okinomiya in fear of the curse そいつが帰ってくるとどうしてサトコが学校を休んでマッピルマに絹ごし豆腐を買うはめになるんだ<笑> I mean, you can try and put two and two together that maybe it's for the uncle that she's doing this. My underclassman clamped up and looked downwards. There must have been some big hint buried in there. Even if I didn't understand, if I told Mion or Ren about it, maybe they'd know something. あ、ごめんな、二人とも。せっかく好意で話を聞かせてくれたのに、なんだか問い詰めるような言い方になっちゃって。あ、いえ、いいんすよ。ほ
北条が重病で寝たきりになってないことが分かっただけでもほら Yeah I'd have to thank you too You sweet little beans Thank you for telling us 儲けもんじゃないですか That might be true But I still won't It won't make the clouds over my mind fade away Oh, Okamura Kun cried wildly, pointing over my shoulders behind me. Alright, well, it could be two possibilities. Either it's、uh, Oishi or it's Tepe. Startled, I turned around. In the way on the other side of the schoolyard, near the school gate, I saw a figure trudging forth.、Uh, okay. The third secret option that. Seems to be a lot worse. Oh my god. No, I don't want to see my baby suffering too. I burst into a run faster than I could speak. So that as quickly as possible, I could see with my own eyes that she was okay. Satoko! Satoko seemed taken aback by me shouting and running over to her. なんですのケイチさん突然大声を出して走ってくるから何事かと驚きましたわバカ俺のことなんかどうでもいいだろうそれよりどうしたってんだよサドコ3日間も俺心配で心配であはははは心配性ですわねたかだか3日ですわよもうケイチさんは心配性なんですから From listening to her, she seemed like the normal Satoko. But I could tell she was clearly acting strangely. Her smile was somehow forlorn, and her complexion was bad for some reason. Hozo! Daijobu da ta no ka yo! Kaze to ka ja nai no ka? Tomitaku and Rukumaya kun both expressed their concerns. Itai, do you start ten da yo? Mika mo! Ore ga dole da ke shin pai shite da ka? ごめん遊ばせですわちょっとお家のお掃除をしたりしてたんですのよだいぶ長いこと使ってませんでしたからもう家中ほこりだらけでしてはあサトコお前何を言ってんだ you mean the main house? なんで家の掃除なんかで学校を休まなきゃなんないんだサトコ didn't answer me instead she passed by me and headed for the entrance もう今はお弁当の時間ではありませんの私はお腹が空いてますのよ。Was lunch break. I couldn't force her to stop after she told me she wanted lunch since she was so hungry. まあいいや。リカちゃんは3日間、毎日お前の弁当を持ってきてくれてるんだぜ。今日はちゃんと食べてやれそうだな。とにかく、早く教室へ行こう。みんなを安心させてやろうぜ。そうですわね。皆さんにご心配をおかけしてしまったかもしれませんわね。あはははは人気者は辛いでございますわ。I put a hand on Satoko's shoulder and we ran to the classroom together. <laughs> Sweet little baby. Up close, I was able to verify that Satoko looked somehow weak. All this anxiety was supposed to go away when I saw her again. That's what I thought. But now I actually started to have quite different fears. What the heck happened, Satoko? It went in class, of course, reacted in the same exact way I had. We worried about you. I'm glad to see you well. What were you doing for three days? Our classmates showered her in questions. <laughs> she cackled. She chowed down on the bento the Kachan had made for her. Those in the teacher's lounge must have been informed of Satoko's arrival. Because our teacher sprinted in the classroom, her breathing ragged. Hojo san! Ara, sensei! Mika kan mo go shinpai o kake shimashita wa ne? Ahahaha! Go ran na tori, genki de pin pin shite masu wa? Mo, hontou ni shinpai shite tan desu kara ne?
お弁当が食べ終わったら職員室に来るんですよいろいろとお話があります3日もサボったからきっとお目玉に違いありませんわねあっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっは無事でよかったよね。Now you're worried too about something, aren't you? I looked at Rena and knew. She had a sense that something about Satoko was off too. I looked to see m i o n detached from the clamor as well, with a somewhat grim expression. But Rika chan, on the other hand, was smiling from ear to ear. She spread out the bento boxes one by one as Satoko finished them. Finally, Satoko was satisfied. And after enjoying a photo conversation with her classmates, remembered that she'd been called to teacher's lounge. Satoko arises from her seat, and Rika chan runs over to her. Alright, you do that. Oh, oh. なんだったら俺も一緒に付き合うぜ。You go ahead and get scolded. 例のカレーの悪口の時、一緒に職員室で怒られた中じゃないか。それには及ばないのです。ケイチはここでお留守番なのですよ。リカちゃん s words were gentle, but a firm rejection was clear in her eyes. In the two of them mixed into the hallway, walking shoulder to shoulder. After seeing them off, the class breathed a collective sigh of relief, broke apart, and went back to their usual lunch break banter. We, however, couldn't go back to how we usually were. <coughs> not I, not Mion, and of course, not Rena. They stared at the classroom exits at Toko and Rikachan and left room, their expression a little distant and grim. We're all friends. That's right, everyone. I blurted out something strange. So Mion and Rena turned around with dubious expressions. I told them the stories I heard from Tomita Kun no Kumano Kun earlier about the tofu shop and how Satoko's uncle had apparently come back. All at once, without letting them speak. してていることがあるなら話してくれ俺は俺の知るすべてを話したぞ。Yeah, I look to know. Like you two might know some stuff about how, how it was for Satoko to live with the uncle and aunt. It surely must have been painful. And thinking that Tepe may be back is. that surely is not good. I ended my sentence firmly and looked into Mion and Rena's eyes in turn. Rena stared right back at me. Her eyes didn't falter. Without even opening her mouth, I could tell that she wasn't hiding anything. Then our gaze turned to Mion. Mion couldn't seem to endure our sound stares and began to talk timidly. As if she was guilty of something. But, Kei chan が話したなら私も話さないわけにはいかないよね。みーちゃん、何か知ってるのいや、その、さとこのおじが帰ってきたっての、帰ってきた初日から知ってたよ。この間の日曜日に、ふらっとひなみざわに帰ってきたって。どうしてそれを黙ってたごごめん。My angry shot caused me on to flinch away and look down and hang her head uncomfortably. ケイチ君
怒るようなことじゃないよみーちゃん怖がってるえあごめんつい大声を I lowered my head in apology Mion accepted it collected herself and continued According to her, her uncle's relationship with his lover, whom he had been with in Nokinomiya, had collapsed. Without anywhere to go, he went back home to Hinomizo. And on that Sunday, the day of the barbecue, her uncle ran into Satoko and brought her back to the house. Like, right then. ろくでなしの寄生虫だからね。自分一人じゃ炊事はおろか、掃除一つできないし。そ、そんな、炊事屋を掃除のために、さとこちゃんを連れ戻したっていうのは I remember that she said she'd been cleaning the house when I met her back at the school gate. That could very well be true. She might not lie about that one. A moment later, the pieces fell into place, into the jigsaw puzzle of her knees. And as for what the puzzle depicted, when I saw it from afar, I could see the answer clearly. Satoko was in the house, and 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 was in the house. If you knew that, why didn't you speak up? I nearly yelled at that meal, but hastily stopped myself. Mia, それ本当なの I mean, that explains the rumor that、um, that Satoko even went out to shop for some soft tofu. The uncle surely must have wanted that kind of tofu for Satoko to cook. 私がこの目で確かめたわけじゃないから、本当かどうかは知らないけど。We all looked down again, and staring at the floor, grew quiet. 去年みたいに、意地悪なおじさん夫婦のところで暮らしてた時みたいに。<笑>でもさ、そのおじさんって、家事は辛くしなんだろう。サトコが重宝なわけだから何もいじめてるってわけじゃないかもしれないだろう。まあ、いかにも possible that he's being a piece of, piece of shit to her。ケイチ君、何を根拠に言ってるのか知らないけど、いい加減なことは言わない方がいいよ。Rena clearly and directly got mad at me. You don't know much about this, so don't talk as though you do. Yeah, that's clearly what she meant. Jalrenawa,知ってるのかよ?私だって知らないよ。今ここで聞くまで、佐渡子ちゃんがおじさんの家に連れ戻されたなんて知らなかったもの。でもね、一年前とはまるで状況が違うの。状況が違うってどういう
家には意地悪なおじさんとさとこちゃんが二人きりなんだよそれがどれだけ行き詰まるものか圭一君にだって想像がつくんじゃないかないや木南沢に帰ってきた理由だって身を寄せてた愛人が蒸発したからでしょそんな不愉快な理由で帰ってきた人がどうしてさとこちゃんに優しくできるっていうの She was right. It wasn't easy for me to imagine Satoko not being tormented. Gome. Ah, Kuchi Koso Gome. Toitsmerio na kucho ni na chata ne. An awkward atmosphere floated among us. The three of us remained silent and just stared at the floor. I mean, something has to be done about this. Not in a murdery way, mind you, although that's more than likely what's gonna happen soon enough. Tepe is gonna be the end, the one to die this year. It's just. I mean, something has to be done about the bad parenting and, uh, you know, the situation that Satoko is in. Like, tell the teacher, tell, like, the adults and such. Have, like, have something to be done about this. Finally, we heard the principal's bell ringing. The teacher came back with Satoko and Rika chan at her side. Sasa! Gogo no jugyo o hajime masu yo! Incho, gore! Kiritsu! Oh, ha ha ha! Gomen na sai ne! Hitsure, hitsure! I couldn't read anything for Satoko's vaguely sheepish expression. But given the clouded look Rika chan was wearing behind her, it was tough to laugh off the disquieting story I'd heard from Mion. Yeah, perfect. Indeed. In times like these, the best thing to do was always to get rowdy and scheme against one another in a club activity. えへへへ。望むところだよ。ねえ、さとこちゃん。やろうやろう。さとこが好きだったゲームあるでしょ。ほら、なんだったっけ。なんでも構わないよ。行ってみ。行ってみ。みんなラフハプリ。<laughs> took a bunch of games out of the club locker and lined them up on the desks. And in the meantime, like, uh, Satoshi, Satoshi's baseball bat just drops out of the locker. With an ugly reminder. Oops. <laughs> like, you done goofed up again, Mion. I think that was the first time Mion has ever let someone else decide on the game for her. Now, of course. I could tell she was being especially concerned with Satoko. Thinking that whatever her circumstances, if we could just enjoy our time together as a group, there might be some comfort, some diversion. Satoko seemed to understand her feelings too, and smiled vaguely, though pleased. But her head slowly moved from side to side. Even Rika chan hung her head in remorse. Oi, 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 oi! Honki na wake? Bukatsu member ga hisashiburi ni sorotta ってのにお流れになっちゃうわけ？敵前逃亡は罰ゲームってのはえっと快速第何条だったっけ？ I mean, you cannot even do that to Satoko. Like. Your heart wouldn't let that happen. Like, have a punishment for her, so... Uh, ただ、大盛り上がりした方が絶対に楽しいと思って。本当にお気持ちだけで嬉しいんですのよ。ご安心なさいませ。<laughs> Satoko, while insulting us, still said she couldn't participate in club today and apologized. 
She quickly put her things into her bag and padded out into the hallway, disappearing. It all happened in a blink of an eye. Satoko. Rika-chan stared lonesomely as her friend hurried home, unable to be part of club activities. A silence filled the classroom. Both the cheerful voices of our classmates in the schoolyard and the voices of the cicadas sounded like they were coming from some far away world. And the silence was broken by Mio's bitterness, and she began putting the games on the desk back into the locker. Everyone just stared absently at Satoko's seat, now empty. Rika-chan, yeah, I mean, obviously you knew, like, all these days. Can you tell us something about the situation? Rana made as gentle a smile as she possibly could and spoke softly to Rika-chan. Even without hearing it from her, we pretty much knew the situation at this point. Satoko's uncle had broken up with his lover and come back home to hear himself. He had taken Satoko back home and forced her to do all the household work. And that all that had to be pretty rough on her. Thinking this was common knowledge to everyone, I skipped to the important part. Maybe Mio and Rena wanted to ask the same question. Nobody spoke. We all just stared, waiting for Rikachan's reply. But Rikachan still didn't answer us. We were hoping for her to say no, but her silence was a bad enough sign. うん。あの時は夫婦喧嘩のとばっちりみたいなのがほとんどだったからさ。こうして部活で時間を潰して家にいる時間を極力減らすのも一つの手だったんだけど。今は家事を強制されてるから。yeah, because at that point, he was the aunt who was doing like the house chores and such. Shit. Satoko's not a slave. Who do you think you are? Ignoring your own inability to live properly and basically putting Satoko under house arrest. It is. そうだよね。体罰の証拠とかがあれば、警察に通報できると思うよ。あるいはそういうのって、地域の民生委員さんとかに相談できないの？Ren and I kept saying, "Police, police," as though it were nothing. But Mion's response sounded like she thought we were a little naive. Eh? Yeah, I can understand like the look on Mion's face. People in general, like the Sonozakis, the police, or, you know, the general perception for the Hojo's is not that great, so... Like, one would think that when a child is being abused, like, no matter, like, where they come from, they would be helped, but I don't know. And the look on Mion's face makes it sound like it's gonna be much more difficult than... than it, then it is possible. みんな簡単に言ってくれるけどさ。それを立証するリスクを考えたことある。リスクって何だよ。で、佐藤子とか佐藤子とかに事情聴取してた。ついでにお地夫婦のところにもね。佐藤子と佐藤子に聞くまではいいが、お地夫婦にまで聞くのはまずいんじゃないのか？両者の意見を聞いて総合的
おじさんとっても勉強になっちゃったんだけどさ法律ではね暴行か育児放棄が認められなきゃ虐待とは言わないんだってさ里子も聡も,もよく小づかれてたらしいけど別に傷跡が残るようなレベルじゃなかったし三食の飯も一応食えてたし寝床もあったし心理的外傷を与える言動ったって別にカセットテープで証拠があったわけじゃないし村の人たちだって実際に乱暴してる現場は見たことないからねいくら意地悪だからって人前で乱暴はしないでしょ誰だってでその後どうなったのしばらくは毎週決まった日に民生委員さんが訪問してたみたいおじ夫婦も自分たちが見張られてることを気にして目立ついじめはしなくなったらしいけどそれで済むわけないでしょ普通より陰湿ないじめ方に加速していったってことだねニンサイドナードだおばのやつが特にねちっこくってさ女特有の陰湿さっていうのかな相当いやらしいことをしてたらしいよさとこ最後の方は呼吸するだけのボロ人形みたいだった、uh, so、what? From that conclusion does that mean they never should have contacted child welfare in the first place? わかった誰の目にも明らかな虐待の証拠がなかったらお手上げなんだよむしろ状況を悪化させかねないあれは失敗だった After hearing that even public organizations, the one thing they thought was dependable, couldn't do anything. Everyone hung their heads. つまり、誰の目にも明らかな虐待の証拠が見つかるまで、通報すべきでないってことなんだね。うん。まあ、その、そういうこと。I consider Satoko's current situation. She was brought back to her house. It was a little difficult to call that abuse. She was being tormented and forced to do the chores. How she was being tormented would be the key, but without concrete evidence, it would be difficult to prove. If she had some kind of external injury, that would work, but as far as we could tell from today, she had nothing like that. And being forced to do the chores, that was a bit weak too. There had to be better evidence that she was without a doubt being abused. Well, time for some camera action in that case. We could get like some camera and、uh, spy on them for a little while. Ah, I know. Her uncle had ignored Satoko's existence for a whole year and went to live with his lover in town. Didn't that fall under one of the definitions of abuse that Mion had mentioned? Child neglect? Yeah. <sighs> それは立派な育児放棄だね。Yeah, that's true. どうなのみーちゃん。うーん。うーん。おじが今もいなければ、育児放棄は認定されそうだけど、今この瞬間は同居してるわけでしょ So you're saying that there will be no proof that he even was neglectful in the first place, that he even left in the first place? Well, there would be. The police would know for sure, since they are looking up、uh, Tepe. And where he was up until this point. Like, we have evidence that he lived in an apartment in Okinomiya with a, with a lover. Though, I guess one could say that,、uh, like, Tepe could just pretend to tell us that、uh, he did w e n t to visit、uh, Satoko, like, at least once a week or something like that to escape from the child neglect accusation and such. Yeah. 今までは別居だったけど心を入れ替えて同居することにしたなんて言われたらまた様子見なんてことになりかねないよ Once we reported it, we would need to be absolutely sure they interpreted as abuse. Maybe we needed far more concrete evidence, lest we repeat last year's mistake. なんだか悲しい。ということはつまり、さとこちゃんが乱暴されて大きな傷が残るまで黙って見てろってことなんだよね
And the only plan I could think of was, in the end, just watching and waiting. It left me in shock when I realized that it would be the same policy as that of the officials who had made the situation worse. As Milan said, reporting it to a public agency would be a gamble. If we were going to pick a fight, it would have to be one we couldn't afford to lose. If we were gambling, without enough money, without enough evidence, our defeat would be assured. If we took the time to amass enough money that we could be sure of victory, then that would mean pretending we didn't see Satoko's plight for a considerable amount of time. Rika-chan had lost her parents, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget about this little sweet bean who is suffering in her own way. Not just because uh, she sees her best friend go through all this, but she herself is now living alone. From what it hurt, she had no relatives either. She was forced to live on her own as a result. But her life was unfettered, free of restriction. If she could somehow grant that freedom to Satoko, too. ほら、リカちゃんって両親いないのに生活してるだろ。保護者のいない子供って個人みたいなところに入れられちゃうんじゃないっけ。ケイチ君、それひどい。悪口で言ってるんじゃねえよ。そこにサトコを救うヒントが
without evidence, we cannot prove that that he wasn't a guardian to begin with. Satoko got to remodel Sarita Kara Sujitsu. Sonokan no Shokuji Daiwa, Ojino Saifu Kara Deter Yone. Ichio Mendo Miteruto, Shio Dekinakumanai. Soreni, Ichinenkan Satoko, Hotara Kasta to Aye. Saisho no Ichinenkan was Sekats no Mendo Mita Jisekigar. Demo Sonchoni was Sono Jisekiwanai. Ijiwaru na Ojisan to. その可能性が高いってことそれに保護者を主張したらおじさんの方が強いってことその可能性が高いってことそれに保護者ってのは実際に面倒を見てる人を指すんだよ実際に寝床や食事を握ってるおじと名義だけ貸そうとしてる村長
沖宮の家なんてもっとダメうちのお父さんそんなの絶対に許さないおいおいおいおい普段は散々大物ぶりを自慢しといてここ一番でお呼び越しかよ何なんだよお前佐都子を見殺しにする気かよそ,そんなつもりはないけどそりゃ私だって佐都子は助けてやりたいよでもそれとこれじゃ話が話が違うってのかよ冷てえやつ仲間の危機だろここで救わなかったら何なんだよ部長だろ部活の救えよ仲間の危機をよ今ここで救わなかったら仲間じゃねえ人じゃねえお前の人間性が問われてるんだよ聞いてるのかよミオン Jesus freaking Christ, Keiichi. Like, you deserve a slap in the face for that one. Jesus. My emotions all exploded out of me. And I didn't even give her a chance to say anything in response. Maybe a little hit will help you calm down a little bit. I just wanted to make Mion agree with me, even if I had to force her. If she did, Satoko's problems would be solved. If pushing her would solve the issue, then I push her as much as I needed to. What the hell are you talking about? Are you listening to this guy? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Me? Me? Mia, looking down with a grim face, began sobbing. Her hands were clenched into trembling fists, and she rubbed her eyes to wipe away the tears. Was what I said actually that mean? Oh yeah, fuck yeah, it was mean as fuck. This isn't the time to cry. We're in a gambling room now, and we have to do something to save Satoko. And as I thought that, Rena spoke, her voice cold and incredibly calm. Keiichi-kun. ミーちゃんちがダメなら、他の裕福な家を探したら私、ひなみざわに立派な豪邸建てて住んでる人、知ってるよだ、誰だよ知らじらしいよ。あれだけ立派な家に住んでて、自分の家だけは蚊帳の外お、オレンジかよ。俺の家は。仲間なんでしょ救ってよ、ケイチくんが。みーちゃんはダメだってさ、冷たいから。じゃあ仲間思いのケイチくんがお手本示さなきゃダメだね。あれだけ大きなお家に家族3人で住んでるんだっけ。じゃあ空き部屋なんかいくらでもあるよね。Now Rena is pissed.You made, made Rena angry with that one, Keiichi. Like, you know, Rena is always so considerate, such a sweetheart. Like, you pushed her to the limit with that one as well, to the point where she is talking like this. ランランラン。今日は久しぶりに宝探しでも行こうかな。昨日までは、ずっと佐都子ちゃんのことが心配で全然遊ぶ気になんかならなかったし。今日はどんな宝物が見つかるかな。はう。なんか言ってよ。私
Oh, you know, it showed me just how much might hurt me on. After a few moments, Rika-chan cut into the frozen air. うん。ごめん、ネリカちゃん。みーちゃんもごめん。ケイチ君にはand I had such strength that you wouldn't have imagined it normally. All I did was spout terrible things as a wave of violent fury passed over me. I couldn't contend with her. Come to think of it, I didn't understand what had gotten me that riled up. I thought of myself as Satoko's needy, so I only had good intentions. Yet I think about it a little harder than anyone else. And yet... うん。いいよ。私こそ、ケイちゃんが一生懸命悩んでるのに、あれはダメ、これはダメばっかりって。ごめんね。私も、悪かった。All right. In that case, come on. Let's all hug it out. Let's all hug each other. We are good friends, after all. Like, this is just a, a really, really fucked up moment right over here. We've also let it out of our systems right over here by yelling at each other, I guess. Mian rubbed away the tears at the corners of her eyes with her fists and apologized as well. We bowed our heads to each other and looked down without glancing at the other. <coughs> Poof. Okay. Someone. I don't know who he a sigh. Satoko being tormented had been known about since last year. How had the tragedy back then saved Satoko? How had they brought it to an end? By having the on die, Tepe running away, and Satoshi disappearing. One suffering ended and another one began. Right. In the end, nobody could do anything. All they could do was bear it patiently and wait for those agonizing days to end. And that's right. The one who brought an end to those terrible days was some crazy drug addict nobody knew. On the night of Watanagashi last year, their mean aunt had been beaten to death. But it hadn't been done to save Satoko or Satoshi. Right. It really was just a coincidence. Satoko's friends, who needed to do something for her most of all, could do nothing. The incident may have been a tragic one, but from Satoko's viewpoint, it was nothing less than a miracle. Kinda. A miracle. A miracle one could only wait for. Not for evidence of abuse. Not for something that minor. No one made fun of me for using such a crazy word. We couldn't come up with any solutions. So it was the only thing we could do. That one word me dropped was the finishing bow. <sighs> it was hot. My body was sticky with sweat. In the worst month, June. <sighs> All right, in that case, I guess we shall wait and see how things will progress. <sighs> 